Now, how do we detect inflammation? C-reactive protein is what Paul Ridker used. It's what most people use who actually look at this. But there's a problem with that. Common false positive rates. If we take 100 people today and give them a flu shot, the regular flu shot, two days later, 48 hours later, 60 six of those hundred people will have a positive C-reactive protein. So as you can see, C-reactive protein, it's made by the liver, it's a response to any type of inflammation, and there's a lot of false positives. It's not just inflammation in the cardiovascular system. It's okay to use C-reactive protein, just one somewhat challenged indicator when you're doing global studies like Paul Ridker. But if we're looking at one patient, an N of one, one patient at a time, and we don't wanna miss this, we need to use other tests to get a little bit better picture.